Welcome. Today we're going to be building the model of the ear. I will be taking you through some of the different structures and their functions in three different parts as seen here. To begin, we're going to start with the outer ear. As the video progresses, I will leave brief pauses at the beginning of each section and after I add new pieces for you to pause the video and organize your pieces. Now would be a great time to do that and make sure that you have all the parts you need for the outer ear as seen here. Okay, let's get started. These pieces are going to make up most of what we call the outer ear. Sound is actually just little vibrations in the air where particles bump into one another. And your outer ear has all of these curves to make the vibrations louder and help them travel into the rest of your ear, starting with the ear canal. Scientists call the ear canal the external auditory meatus, or sometimes the external acoustic meatus. Really, it's just a small tube that brings sound vibrations from the outside world to your eardrum, which we're gonna to get to talk about in a little bit. And these last pieces are what is the beginning of your ear canal. Now that we have finished off this section, we get to move on to some of my favorite parts of the ear. This one can be a little more confusing than the outer ear. So again, feel free to pause to organize your pieces or pause in between as I add on new pieces. Now we're gonna start building the middle and inner ear. This piece represents the rest of your ear canal that we talked about earlier. What we're building around it are the bones that protect your ear on the inside. Bones in the ear help us the same way other bones in our bodies do, like giving us shape and structure and helping to protect other parts of our body that might get hurt more easily. Once we set this aside, these next two pieces represent the parts of the bone that hold and protect two of the coolest parts of our ear, the eardrum and the cochlea. The cochlea will end up sitting right here, while the eardrum and ossicles will be tucked right here. The eardrum is like a bridge between the outer and inner ear. It moves when the vibrations from sound hit it, kind of like a drum. Then that signals the little bones called ossicles that make the sound even louder and are the beginning of your middle ear. This next piece is my favorite. It actually represents three different really cool parts of the ear, the semicircular canals, the cochlea, and the auditory nerve. To summarize, we'll start back over here with the ear canal. This flat part represents the eardrum, and then these three bones are the ossicles. The circles are your semicircular canals and your auditory nerve comes out the backside that sends signals to your brain from your cochlea. The cochlea is this part right here that looks kind of like a seashell. And it's super cool because it changes those sound vibrations from the world into electrical signals that your brain knows how to understand. Lastly, we'll top this section off with another bone. And this part is just a leg to help us stand it up later. Once you finish this section, we're gonna begin the very last part and you should only have three pieces left at this point. The most important structure we're gonna be building here is something called the eustachian tube. When you yawn and hear your ears pop or maybe feel them tickle a little bit, that's actually these tubes opening to make sure there's not too much pressure in your ear compared to the outside. Now that we've completed this last section, we're gonna put all of them together to make the entire ear model. Once you snap these two pieces into place, you'll be able to see the entire eustachian tube in pink. Once the external ear is in place, you'll be able to see the entire ear canal. Congratulations, you officially created your model of an ear. Here's what that model should look like if you still needed a little bit more help, but I hope you guys had a fun time making an ear model with me because I know I did. 